Dad? Dad? Hello? Dad? 911 emergency, Jane police, fire, ambulance. Guelph is a diverse and vibrant city. It's also one of Canada's fastest growing communities. At the Guelph Police Service, we are committed to ensuring we are well positioned to support our community now and into the future. This includes working with our community partners to make Guelph the healthiest and safest city possible. Our headquarters was built here on Wyndham Street in the 1960s. Since then, our community's population has grown from approximately 38,000 to almost 150,000. The expectation is that within the next 25 years, this will increase to approximately 200,000 residents. We must continue to grow and evolve to ensure we sustain our ability to provide our community with the service they need and deserve in a way that is safe and sustainable for our members. We've recently finished an extensive renovation of our police headquarters. This has resulted in a modern, future-ready facility that will support the long-term needs of our city. What it takes to run the Guelph Police Service is a multi-layered process and it's currently carried out by approximately 340 dedicated police and civilian members. It's a full team effort, and it all starts here, in this building. It is important for the public to know that civilians are a vital part of the Guelph Police Service. In fact, they make up more than 30% of our team. From the front desk, to record keeping, communications, and even in supporting our services wellness. Their roles may not be as visible as those on the front line, but they're crucial in keeping the service running. Our dispatch center, staffed by trained civilians, handles all emergency and non-emergency calls, directing them to the appropriate department, such as ambulance, fire, or OPP, and entering calls for service for our Guelph Police Service officers ensuring rapid response while gathering accurate information. They also have to maintain caller safety and provide calm, empathetic support during high pressure situations. Very often, our call takers are speaking to people at their worst moments. 42 Courier Crescent? Yes. And what's going on there? I came down the stairs and the front door is wide open. I don't see my dad anywhere. He's 73 and he has dementia and I'm really worried that he's wandered off somewhere. Okay, and the last time you saw him was yesterday? Yes. But their involvement goes beyond initial contact. For instance, in missing person cases, dispatchers continuously coordinate with officers, tracking their searches and liaising with community partners until the missing person is found. Headquarters TSS-1, sending through a missing persons report for 42 Courier Crescent. If you can start heading that way, I've sent you a photo of the missing male. TSS-1, 10-4, show me en route. This first point of contact in our process is crucial and it is expertly managed by civilian staff. Our Emergency Operations and Training Center allows us to come together in specific circumstances, such as certain occasions and large events which require coordination with some of our community partners. We will set up in this room with the necessary equipment and run operations from here. This room also serves as our training center Part of the Guelph Police Service's commitment to excellence is providing our officers and members with the latest resources and opportunities to improve their skills. Having the trust of the community in our capabilities is very important to us, and this training room helps ensure our teams continue to offer the highest level of service to all our citizens. The lineup room is where we have our twice daily briefings. During these briefings, a duty sergeant or staff sergeant will relay to officers any critical current information, as well as missing person cases. This is John, a 73-year-old male. He, he has dementia. He's missing from 42 Curry Crescent. His daughter called her this morning, said she hasn't seen him since he went to bed. He was wearing a blue sweater, gray pants. He does like to wear ball hats. He usually doesn't go out by himself. Uh, we've contacted the media, taxi, and buses. At this point, you will be deployed to assist with the search. Please be safe. Part of the Guelph Police Service's vision is to lead with innovative policing that is effective, efficient, economical, and environmentally responsible. We were the first police service in Ontario to commit to a complete marked hybrid fleet. 
This transition was completed in 2023, and it's something we're all very proud of. It's helped us cut fuel consumption by 25%, maintenance costs by 30%, and with a growing service, this is important and keeps us aligned with the City of Guelph's net zero carbon goals. In 2020, we introduced an innovative feature in our vehicles to enhance public safety. Our cruisers are now equipped with a communication system which provides vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle synchronization with regards to lighting and tones. When multiple vehicles are on scene, their lighting patterns can slow down and pulse collectively, which lessens distractions for not only the officers, but also other drivers. Our police vehicles are housed here at our headquarters garage, which fits up to 75 vehicles. Our new e-bikes are also stored here and have individual charging stations. The e-bikes are not only economical and environmentally friendly forms of transportation, but they are also significant advancements in how officers are able to get around. They provide access to areas other vehicles are unable to reach. Due to the pedal assist feature, officers can travel further on an e-bike and still be ready to deal with the call at hand. Another area where the Guelph Police Service continues to be at the forefront of technology, innovation, and advancement is here in our Forensic Identification Unit. Officers in this unit are responsible for locating, documenting, collecting, processing, and presenting evidence in court. In our new on-site laboratory, we process evidence collected in the field. Some of this evidence is then sent to the Center of Forensic Science. Some of the techniques used while documenting crime scenes include photography, videography, measurements, and sketches. Our forensic identification officers attend serious crime scenes and other major cases. They evaluate physical evidence, including examination for fingerprints, DNA, and other trace evidence, as well as footwear and tool impressions and other matching techniques. Having the ability to conduct much of this analysis here in our state-of-the-art lab allows us to better serve the community and conclude serious investigations more quickly and effectively. In the Forensic Identification Unit, we solve crimes with science. The Duty Sergeant's Office is the central hub of the station's daily operations, where our frontline sergeants and staff sergeants oversee the operation of the service around the clock. Their role involves monitoring all calls for service, being aware of officers' locations and tracking their movements, as well as listening to the radio chatter between officers and dispatch. They basically have eyes and ears on everything going on in the city. As well, the duty sergeants are responsible for the security of the police station and are able to monitor security cameras both inside and outside of the building. Our dispatch personnel is pretty autonomous, but will occasionally consult with the duty sergeant for call prioritization or guidance on handling specific situations. Sergeant Pettibes. Hey, Sergeant. With the dropping temperatures, are you going to call in the tactical team for the missing mail? We'll be calling out the well, attack team. I've talked to the staff sergeant in charge. He'll be contacting them. Okay, thanks. Thank you. The Tactics and Rescue Unit has been a part of the Guelph Police Service since the 70s. When people think about tactical officers, they often picture operations in high-risk crime-related incidents, and yes, that is part of what they do, yet there's also the important search and rescue aspects of their duties, which may not be as well known, but is as equally important. The Tactics and Rescue Unit plays a vital role in these situations, carrying out operations that require specialized technology and training. A great example of this is their involvement in the Project Lifesaver Guelph Wellington program. Project Lifesaver helps locate wandering and disoriented persons using radio technology. Participants in this program wear a high-frequency transmitter bracelet that can be detected by Project Lifesaver receivers. When a participant in the program is reported missing, the officers are deployed to conduct a search using Project Lifesaver location technology. In cases where a missing person does not have a Project Lifesaver transmitter, or for instances where it isn't applicable, the Tactics and Rescue Unit may utilize a police canine team. Police canine teams are specifically trained in tracking over various terrains and are extremely useful in locating missing persons. They are effective in establishing the general direction for a search, being able to follow the scent of a missing person. Another new technological resource advancement for the Guelph Police Service is the utilization of a remotely piloted aircraft system, or drone. Officers who are licensed pilots are now able to assist with a missing person incident, accessing areas that are harder to search from the ground.
Compassionate service and appropriate community-based crisis response are areas the Guelph Police Service continues to prioritize in our approach to policing. In addition to working closely with Victim Services Wellington to provide support to victims, we also have an important partnership with the Canadian Mental Health Association of Waterloo Wellington. This has transformed the way mental health-related calls for service are handled. The IMPACT team was formed in 2015 and is comprised of specially trained mental health clinicians who are employed by the Canadian Mental Health Association but operate directly out of the Guelph Police Service headquarters. They attend mental health, addiction and crisis related calls for service alongside police officers when requested and available. The number of calls we get for mental health services is staggering and being able to provide this type of joint response to mental health situations has resulted in a more comprehensive level of care and significantly reduced the need for emergency room and hospital involvement. The Guelph Police Service is also committed to supporting our members and officers' mental well-being so that they can serve the community effectively. Policing has become more complex and officers often face very challenging situations. With that in mind, we have established a full-time wellness coordinator role. After critical incidents, officers can meet with a wellness professional to address their mental health needs. The Guelph Police Service continually strives for excellence, aspiring to be a leader in the ever-evolving world of policing. We've come a long way since the appointment of Guelph's first police officer in 1827. Our members receive excellent training and utilize modern police equipment to deliver truly outstanding service. What has never changed is the dedication, kindness and professionalism our members bring to their work each day. They are the heart of our service and our greatest asset. They are the ones who infuse this building with purpose and life. Our members are the foundation of the services we provide. Our strength lies in community partnerships, dedicated volunteers, meaningful conversations, and the community relationships we build together. These enable us to effectively fulfill our mission, to enhance the quality of life and ensure the safety of all our citizens. And that's how collectively we move forward together.